Well, we just got back from the grocery, and oh my goodness, we've been Krogering. So, let me get everything out, and I'll show you, show you what it is. Of course, woohoo! We could find paper towel and toilet paper. That's always a good thing. It's been a busy morning. We went to Kroger's and uh, as you can see, and I am just trying to wipe things down and get them placed into the refrigerator and freezer. Now, uh, I knew exactly what I was missing and short of and had made a list, but I, uh, I, I have a rule that uh, I try not to take anyone with me when I'm grocery shopping because, especially if I'm trying to stick with the budget because other people's ideas of what they want and what they are going to put in your basket can sometimes change the outcome of what your bill is. So, I kind of sort of had that to happen today where uh, I had plans for, I had a really short list to be honest with you, but uh, unfortunately, that short list ended up being a very long list <laughs> by the time we got to the checkout. So, I ended up uh, spending a little more than what I had planned to, but that's okay. We're stuck in the house, so we're going to uh, make the best of it. So, I'm taking out, trying to get all the fruits and vegetables out at one time so I can get them wiped off and uh, that was one spot where we uh, I think kind of went overboard but okay you know it is what it is and uh, we need our fruits and vegetables and we won't have that front of our snack food because you know snack food is just that but the big guy's trying to get away from the uh, flour and so uh, he uses a lot of corn chips so that's okay so we're going to uh, get that stuff put away as well so I'm in the process I'm gonna run out to the freezer and I'll be right back okay so let's just be real one of these days I will take you out to the freezer it is out, sits out in the garage, and it's been out there for 25 years at least. But today is not that day. And let me say that it is not well organized at this point because I was just sticking things into it and trying to cram as much as I could into it. Wherever I found a, a, a spare square, it's got something in it. So, the freeze is packed, and I'm trying to keep it that way. Now, before I continue taking things out of the grocery bags, this is what I usually do. I try to, if I have meats that need to be divided, I try to do it ahead of time. And the reason for that is obvious. Uh, I'm going to buy, as often as possible, a family pack because of the savings. But... It's just the two of us most of the time. So I'm not going to need to pack a full family size uh, package of whatever it may be. So I'm breaking this pack of chicken wings in half. I'm going to find some scissors. And... 
I am going to ziplock half of the chicken. So let me get that divided here. I'm using this pair of scissors. It's not the best pair of scissors. Let me go get a knife. Okay, guys, I'll kind of point you down. Now, I didn't say this was a lesson of how you can do it. I'm just saying this is what I did. All right, so you know they always put that little pack in the in the bottom that, to uh, pick up any juices. And what I'm trying to do basically is to divide that. So I am going to. You know, I'm going to sanitize all of this. I'm trying to split this, and it has not been very cooperative. Hmm. Okay. We're going to have to do this differently. All right, I'm going to take this bag. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. And I'm going to place it here and try to push these wings out foot. I get it. I'm just going to use my fingers and put the wings in the bag. My hands are clean, Lord have mercy. And uh, I'm gonna put the wings in there. I'm gonna keep one package in the refrigerator because I'm gonna fix some house wings for you guys, the way we like wings. And uh, you know, everybody has their own recipe for their wings. I'm gonna give you ours. Okay, that's one bag. And now let me get to the second bag. Now, these are great value Ziploc bags, and most of the time, they are pretty dependable. And so, uh, I have only had one box of great value Ziploc bags that I have been disappointed in. Now, I can tell you, I never, 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 never buy the regular bags. I always, always purchase the freezer bags because they're heavier. It's not about reusing them. I like the weight of them. And because they protect whatever's in them so much better. Now, so guess what? All of that goes in this bag, which is going to go into a plastic bag. So I'm going to wash my hands again, get everything all cleaned up and disinfected, and get everything where it's supposed to be. I'll be right back. All right, hands are clean. Got my disinfectant spray. The knife over here. Go into soapy water and get washed. <sighs> this is my spray that I use. And you know, I'm going to have to clean up this surface. as much air out as you can and bag two Ready for the freezer. I'm going to wash my hands one more time. Just make sure. Okay. This is my tray 
trash bag. I don't know if you can see it, but I took one of the, the pro, one of the Kroger bags had a broken um, had a broken top. So I've taken the that bag as a trash bag. Lift you up a little bit so we can move on to the rest of the groceries. Okay, you see I still got a few bags yet to do. So just know. I'm going to probably speed you up through some of this because, let's face it, you've seen people take groceries out of bags. That's not a big deal. So, let's get moving. We've got canned goods. Let's work on that. I've got some, some all-purpose flour. i got to figure out exactly how I want to store that. More cornmeal. Wrapper came off of that. And that's a local grind, which is really nice. Okay, bags, bags. Cornmeal. I'm going to put a fit in my... Might fit in my bag here. Time to fold up these bags. I do keep them. I use them when I'm recycling because uh, we have a larger recycle container, but it's not near the exit door. And I like to be able to put my recycling in the container right outside of my door. And then I make a major. Once it's full, then I take it down and put it in a large container. So, I am in the process of working on that. And all these folded up and into one. Here's my receipt. I'll show you that I did some damage today. I don't usually do that much damage, but if this lasts a month like it did last time, then we're in good shape, guys. Other than just picking up some fresh vegetables, I should be good. That's why you take a list to the grocery. Never go to the grocery without a list. Because, honey, you'll get home and you won't have half the stuff you need. Been there, done that, and got way too many certificates. That's a good spot. All right, I've got coffee filters. I've got tuna. canned goods this time because as you can see the canned goods shelf is pretty cool and uh, I try to catch those on on sales and right now they weren't they just weren't on sale a little bit more the big guy has this thing about pickles and uh, he has to have is pickles. So they are the type that have to be refrigerated. So I have to make room for them in the refrigerator. So there we go. They're in, in, in their spot. So he can find them. It's not that it really has to have a special spot. He just needs to be able to find them. And most of the time, that needs to be right in front. Now, I bought russet potatoes this time. 
because you know I got uh, you uh, Yukon Gold and I bought them at Aldi's and I'm not gonna I, I don't know what it was about them. They just did not the texture of them was different when they cooked. They were very hard and uh, I wasn't happy with that. I like a potato with the meat mashes. It is so light and fluffy, you can almost float away. And that was what I want. So I'm going to try Kroger Russets, the dependables, those that we're used to eating all the time. Now, guys, I was out of brown sugar. Mm, 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 mm. And you know what I was having to do? If I'm out of brown sugar, I got to stick my finger in there and go ding, ding, ding. And put a little brown sugar in it. But I was good. I purchased brown sugar. So I didn't have to do that. Because we're trying to be safe. And I also bought some Ghirardelli chocolate chips. So you know what that sounds like. That sounds like a chocolate chip cookie coming very soon to a house near me. And we got to the car because uh, it was a mess. So guys, whew, we've got fruits and vegetables here. I still have these to get cleaned up. The guy had grapefruits and um, cauliflower. You know what I really wanted was uh, white vinegar. I have a teeny tiny bottle of white vinegar left and uh, there was no white vinegar to be found. None. Not even the small bottles. There just wasn't any. Everybody is using white vinegar. So, I, uh, it's in a reasonably inexpensive, and it does a nice job disinfecting. And so, I'm sure people are using white vinegar rather than the harsher chemicals. Because, you know, I am a bleach girl. And uh, while I like the white vinegar, and I, I use it, but I prefer having a sink full of soapy water with a tiny bit of bleach in it and to get things wiped down. So, I'll bring you back later on. After everything's put up, we're going to talk about what we're going to do and get ready for dinner. Well, let's open up the pantry and let's see what we've got. And we're ready to move on for the next month of dealing with the coronavirus. Yay! Thank God for being able to uh, go to the grocery and have food at home because there are so many who don't. Well, I still have my vest and my mask out. Gloves are out, but all of my bags are stacked inside of a bag, and that's the way I store them. I have over here, as you can see, I still have, uh, I keep my potatoes and my onions outside so that they have a bucket that they go in and um, they can stay out there and they're cool. Now, I've got to clean up the trash bag and uh, take care of that part. And once I do that, I'm going to be able to sit down and have a little tea. 
thing to keep in mind is that, uh, and something I really like about Kroger's, I have shopped at Kroger's for 45 years. And uh, what I really like about Kroger's is that they cater to the local farmers as much as they possibly can. And this particular corn cornmeal was actually ground. It is a water ground style that I purchased and um, it's manufactured right here in the state of Virginia. And it did not have to travel over 50 miles. So when you can, always try your best to buy local. Okay, let's get things cleaned up. I'm closing out with, with something that I don't usually do and I don't think I'll get in trouble for it but anyway um, I am a Carol Burnett fan and uh, I watch the reruns on MeTV probably just about every night that's kind of how I can relax myself and you know get in the bed go to bed and sleep soundly I love the ending and sometimes that song gets in my head and all I can do is I just find myself singing it and uh, you know it's I'm so glad we had this time together uh, just to have a laugh or sing a song and just before you know it um, I got it twisted I have to sing it in order to do it right but anyway I am so glad we had this time together and that we were able to do some shopping, do have some chit chat, and we are going to cook good meals for our family. They don't, remember, they don't have to be spectacular. They don't, you don't have to be Martha Stewart every night for your children and your husbands and your friends and partners to be happy with what's on the table. First of all, you need to pick up that smile and let them know that you're happy doing what you're doing. When you're happy doing whatever it is you do, understand that's a blessing. Because, you know, when I looked around, and, I, and we have lost thousands of people in really a very short amount of time in the United States and on our planet. So, I, guys, I'm telling you, every day I find myself being very, very thankful for the fact that I'm still able to wake up every day. Thank you, God, for being able to do that. So, you know, we just have to make sure that we let our family know that we are grateful for them. And in turn, and this is a psychology 101 thing, when you are kind and you speak kindness into the people around you, at first, if they're growlers, they're gonna growl. But before you know it, they're gonna change their growl into a smile. So, let's speak positive thoughts into the people around you and let them know that they are, uh, are of value to you. You are of value to me. You're a part of my family and I appreciate your being, uh, being with me. And uh, I'm looking forward to spending more and more and more time right here with you in this kitchen of Ebony, Ivy and Time where we work hard, we love God and family, and we know without a doubt that anything else is just gravy. God bless you, and I'll see you later right here. I'm so glad we had this time together just to have a laugh or sing a song seems we just get started and before you know it 
comes the time we have to say so 